Okay, alright, seven o'clock. Good morning. So let's try this question. Okay, so we are given five digits here, one, four, six, eight, nine, and we want to form five digit numbers. Okay, let's begin. The first one A is the most simplest of all how many numbers can be formed. Have you guessed this one? Yeah, in a way. So technically we have five places. One, two, three, four, five. How many numbers can we put in the first place? Five. Five. How many numbers can I put in the second Four. place? Four. Four, three, three, two, one, and we can times them up. No problem with that. You get the answer straight away. Or you can just simply say five factorial. I have five numbers. I have five places. So how do you calculate this one? Five p five. Straight away five p five, and you get answers. Which one would I recommend? I would recommend the second one, but if your mentors were not doing the exam. As long as we get the same answer. You okay? Yes. I think I'm taking up too many places. I don't want to use this dirty part. <laughs> okay, the next one is how many numbers begin with nine? So that means one, two, three, four, five. What can I say about this nine? No, no. What can I say about this? It has been fixed. It has been put there. So can I still select nine? No. I don't have to. Can I? Do I need to calculate nine? I don't have to. It's already there. It has been fixed. So how many numbers do we have left? How many places do we have left? Four places. With four numbers. Eh, four objects. Yeah. So it's a simple four B four. Are you okay? Yes. As simple as that. <coughs> now for the last one, it says this: even numbers begin with nine. How do we do? It's kind of the same thing. Begin with nine. And so one, two, three, four, five, nine. Now, what about for even? And at the end. So you mean A and B? You mean E and B? I thought you were talking A and B. English is stupid. So it must end with the e with what? You have the two. Oh, there's no two. Let me remind ourselves: one, four, six, eight, nine. Nine has been six, so we can't use nine. So we got ourselves four, six, eight. Okay, this is easy case. So. You can put times three, but I would recommend don't rush yourself. Go with nine four, nine six, and nine eight. I would recommend this way more. Yeah, but this question there's no trick. Some question they have trick. If nine, what can I say about nine and four? There has been tricks. What can I say about nine and six? It has been fixed. What can I say about nine and eight? It has been fixed. So simply leave us. How many numbers do I have left? Three. Three. How many places do I have? Three. Three, three, three. As simple as that. Same goes for here. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Now, how do I connect all of these three data? Plus. Plus. Plus or times? Plus. Why is it a plus? Because it's a different case. 
you can do it that way 3v3 three 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 plus 3v3 three 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 plus 3v3 three three plus press them to your calculator you get answers or alternatively Three 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 times three will give you the same answer. Both ways are okay as long as you get the same answers. Okay, I just for clarification, is there any faster way, sir? Yes, there is one. One, two, three, four, five. You start with nine, and then we see ourselves only three numbers can be at the end. So yes, this one has been fixed or even. I have myself three choices. I put three, and then I realize I have three numbers left, and then three places is three p three. This is of course the faster way to solve. But if there is any trick, then you might think, might, who knows? Okay, be safe then. Sorry. Okay, thank you very much.